Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Seema Yasmin. I'm a public health doctor and a journalist for the Stanford Center for Health Education. Welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Today I'm answering your questions about what to do if you or someone that you know has COVID-19. At what point should you seek medical treatment? Now, if you are someone who's part of a high risk population, say for example, you have a pre-existing condition like heart disease or diabetes, then you should contact your doctor as soon as you suspect that you have COVID-19. That's regardless of the severity of your symptoms. But if you're not part of a high-risk population, so you don't have any of those pre-existing conditions, you need to monitor your symptoms to determine when you need to seek medical treatment. Now, the symptoms of COVID-19 can range from feeling perfectly well to feeling very sick. If you've tested positive for COVID-19 or are showing symptoms and suspect you have the virus, start off by self-isolating. The majority of people who contract the virus display mild symptoms and are able to recover just on their own with time and plenty of rest. If your symptoms are mild, then your goal is to stay home and avoid contact with others. Some of the common minor symptoms include a low fever, chills, fatigue, a sore throat, loss of taste or smell, and headaches. If you're living with others, avoid coming into contact with them. Take extra care to avoid spreading the virus. Specifically, this means wearing a mask around your home, covering your coughs and sneezes, and washing your hands thoroughly and often, and frequently disinfect shared surfaces. Your household contacts should also wash their hands frequently and refrain from interacting with others who are unmasked, as they may have also been infected with the virus. At the same time, you should be monitoring your own symptoms to ensure that they aren't becoming more and more severe. The severe symptoms that require emergency medical attention that you need to look out for include trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new onset of confusion, not being able to wake up or stay awake, and inability to drink enough fluids to stay hydrated. Look out for pale or blue skin and lips and nails. If you experience any of these symptoms, you should seek medical care immediately. Make sure you're aware of your local hospital or clinic's COVID-19 policies and call them before your visit if possible. So what do you do when it comes to monitoring at home? There are several strategies that you can use to monitor your symptoms from home. This is especially useful if your region is facing high COVID infection rates and is running low on resources. A great place to start is the CDC's Coronavirus Self Checker, which is an online tool that assesses the severity of symptoms for folks over the age of 13, and it provides appropriate resources as well as action items based on your symptoms. So I've linked to this great resource for determining how to best manage your symptoms right here. Another great method for monitoring symptoms is using a home pulse oximeter, if you can get access to one. The pulse oximeter measures blood oxygen levels, and in many people who eventually present with severe COVID symptoms, low oxygen levels serve as an early warning sign that you need to seek medical attention quickly, even if the other symptoms seem mild. Pulse oximeters are commercially sold. Many people have them at home, especially if they already have pre-existing conditions. So they're a great way of monitoring yourself and knowing when to seek attention. That's it for today. Please take a look at our other videos on our Viral Facts playlist and look out for more answers to your common COVID-19 questions.